Yeah, so monkeys in general, I've never really been too keen on. I know it's like you know they, that's like the, that's the animal that that like boys, for example, are supposed to like. You know, I, I was always kind of a reptile guy. You know, uh, snakes and wizards <laughs> and stuff. I'm a bit reptilian. <laughs> I was about to say, you know, you could just have put a period there. You've always been kind of a reptile guy. Hey. <laughs> I'm talking about Mortal Kombat, obviously. <laughs> okay. So I still don't have anything to do there yet, I don't right. think. I guess we could try to go kill the bugs. In the Wait water. a minute. Duh. I... No. I feel... I feel dumb. Um, let's see the hint again. So I was kind of thinking you're supposed to use your... Uh, your lighter Flames to... Flames of life and the spirits of the weak. You probably just use your lighter on like the the prey, you know, animals. That's why I would guess. Yeah. Or seeing the howler monkeys, you can hear from anywhere in the zoo, are pretty awesome. But otherwise, meh. Yeah, fair enough. So I know that this is going to be one of them. Yeah, almost certainly. Well, good for you, dear. In Missouri, they just call you target practice. <laughs> And then I'm guessing this one too. Yeah. Not everybody thinks prey on horses, but they are herbivores, so. And so wolf not, snake not, deer is, a tiger, a lion, or whatever that is. Then. Captain <coughs> Legless Prey. Oh, I bet that actually means that the snake should be mm -hmm. one of them. True, yeah, yeah. Guess wrong? Well, well obviously. Let's see. Oh, do you have to do this in a certain order? I but, wouldn't think so. Well, because he because he kills the king of beasts and the eagle kills the snake. Maybe there's a hint you have to do them in, in that way. Well, how can I? May leave the room and come back probably. Yeah, let's try that. But then we have to find out where the chain begins. Kind of like uh, Mega Man 3 with the two different uh, chains that don't, that don't actually need for our Robot Master weaknesses. Well, I'm pretty sure that what you're saying can't be true. Because I think there are at least two that don't give a hint about what they can do. Mm. Like, uh, the deer doesn't have any. And, um... They did reset it. Cunning. Sharp wits... A uh, horned beast, okay. This is like a Silent Hill hub puzzle. <laughs> okay, that might be the start of the chain. No, I think that might be the end. This thing, it says from the spirits of the weak. Right. So I'm thinking I start with this one. Mm -hmm. He doesn't prey on anything. Right. And then the horned beast was the wolf, right? Uh, brings down the horned beast, yeah. All right, P-Bug, see you later. Oh, that sucks, man. Yeah, yeah, good night. And I think it's this one because no amount of cunning. Right. No creature can escape, so mm -hmm. I think it's that one. Yeah. Then that should be the servant. Yeah, this the this the servant brings him brings down the king, and the eagle gets him. This is a very very silly puzzle. <laughs> yep, that's it. Yeah. We are doing a little bro fist there. <laughs> I do have the solution to this problem. Hooray! <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was definitely some good team effort there, I think. And then, where does this lead me? Into On. New area, fair enough. I guess I'll that door to the side first. Inside is more monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> 
hopefully some... Uh, there's a bottle over there. Oh, cool. I actually need those. Oh, to make more Molotovs with, yes. right. Doesn't seem to be anything special about it. <laughs> so I'll definitely have to run back and Thank you. Molotovs. Thank you, Ghost Dad. Thank you. <laughs> We've solved a puzzle. Hooray! <laughs> oh, that's uh, one of the ones I need for the... Uh, they crack the code. Right. Oh, that means that that's going to be uh, three inventory slots oh, in an already limited great. pile. So if I have to get get me one or two of them and then go back to drop them off. Sheets are stained with blood. Well, well, I think I'll go ahead and run back now because I can use two of them. Mm -hmm. uh, that is, drop the tablet and then make some more Molotovs. Right, right. Yeah, very true. So I have like 15 uh, gas cans or something ridiculous like that. How, how close are we to our uh, hub from here? Uh, basically about two screens worth. Okay. <laughs> now, Lorax, solved the puzzle. First time for everything. Hey, now. I will have you know that I did solve the sliding puzzle. It just took me eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't let me in with that. I'm actually pretty decent at solving puzzles. <laughs> The funny thing is, and, and, and Mog can attest to this one because I've helped her out on some adventure games, it's like it, it's pretty much a 50-50 shot if I will come up with the answer like instantly or just... Or take or flipping have, have forever. absolutely no idea. And yeah, it, it just depends. Like if it's something that could fit in my like, you know, straightforward, like numbers-based train of thought or if, if it doesn't, you know. <laughs> The three pack of bottles, or you just already have two? Uh, it is a three pack. Excellent, okay. And what do you um, combine with those? You combine gas. Ah. I think we will take the gas tank. Indeed. You combine. Oh, 15 doses, okay, so. Yeah, that's why I was saying it was kind of ludicrous how much I had. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, she has four Molotovs now. Uh, he's in danger. How many ink ribbons do I have? I think I had eight. If so, I think I probably will play it really super safe. Mm -hmm. yeah, you did just... yeah, I've got nine. Nine, that's yeah. That's more than enough. You did just complete a, a puzzle and got some, got some more progress. Right. So... And hopefully the Molotovs and the shotgun will make it easy to get to the next, uh, you know, healing thing. I think so. Yeah, the fact that the game like makes you wait so long between uh, between heals you know, is that, that's it's a, the old school Resident Evil experience. That, that's a stricter checkpoint system than the ink ribbons, I think. Right. Yeah, if you, that basically means if you do badly, uh, either like yeah, you, you use a more safe slots to try to work your way back up to par, or you reload and try again. Which, in a way, it makes the mercenaries mode the most old school of Resident Evil modes. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> Alright, on we go. Mm -hmm. So, we got the Unity tab. Right. On a tablet. As the first of three, right? Yes. I guess just further, further forward from yep. where we were. I'm not looking forward to trying to fight those weird creatures, though. Kind of wondering to see what they'll, what they'll toss at us for the next boss. But so far, we've had. Two. I really don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> so far, we've had two giant bugs, yep. you know, a centipede and a scorpion. And then. Was that it? I think so. Might have been, yeah, might have been it so far. Yeah. Then the other way we could go down, but let's go this way first. Right. Uh, the so Chances are very good, we'll have to go everywhere. One of the reasons why I call them bugs is from, like, pretty anything like that. Is uh, from a really old review of the Book of Our Darkness for D and D, where they have a, uh, a prestige class, you know, which is a mid advanced class. For, uh, for, uh, you take a couple levels in the starting class. Wow, I guess Rebecca got him off there in time. Uh, and uh, there was one called like the the Vermin Lord, and uh, it basically the idea is that you can you can control like different types different types of the Vermin uh, class. But they also mentioned it could include other things, you know, that were that would be appropriate. And basically, this guy made the point of, you know, what, what constitutes a freaking bug in D and D, because you have like 
you have aliens that are you know, like outsiders so that are like demons that are bugs. You've got you know the ant monsters from from the plane of order and all this stuff. Oh it's yeah. Like yeah. It is a form in a freaking bug. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, no, because it doesn't have the vermin type. Yeah, it doesn't have the vermin type, but, it, but they are ant people. And it's like, well, this is a like, can't. We don't know. What is it that Director Marcus is researching? His weird interest <laughs> in leeches. <laughs> <laughs> There's something dangerous about those leeches. Yeah, if you get too close to them. Just touched one. <laughs> Makes me itch just watching him. Huh. It's, it's, it's like I think we made the same comment in, in Resident Evil. You Bo made the same comment. I mean, uh, one of the things in Resident Evil 4, it's like they, they, they keep trying to recapture the magic of Itchy Tasty, and they never quite do it. <laughs> So, other than that, various gadgets and gizmos. <laughs> Was there nothing here other than that memo? The memos and zombies. Well, that's aggravating. <laughs> the Resident Evil, the Resident Evil experience. <laughs> well, fair enough, I guess. Is that so? That's a really odd dead end. Yeah. Well, I'll check the map and make sure there isn't another way we might have missed. So, we show the doors. I don't see how that could have been. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Huh. Uh, Ghost of Attack of the Giant Legions, the classic MST three uh, three K episode. Was there was there actually one like that with with leeches? Because I wouldn't be surprised. I believe that's, so, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so basically, solve the puzzle to get that Unity tablet. Mm -hmm. Well, then there's that. I probably should have kept some of the save ribbons to put near that uh, save thing. If I have to run back to save, I'll bring some with me. Yeah. That makes sense, especially when you make a trip for make a trip back to stow something. You'll probably have a space after you when you're on your way back. Let's see, was there anything in here? But of course, part of the problem with the the, the first aid, or the, the the first aid spray, you know, health system and everything for this is you spend so much time running around like in the wounded animation. Right. There's so little health. No. I did save it, and honestly, if I die, I'm just not going to waste those bullets yeah. against the zombies. Well, so Billy did take a hit, too. Yep, there we are. Oh. That was a lot easier than I expected. The shotgun does good work. <laughs> oh, I bet I had to be here. The locker key. There was a... There was a busted locker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, let's make the description on it. <laughs> it appears to be. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll just keep my eyes open for lockers. You got, you got me there, Billy. So that route was kind of a dead end. Well, no, because well, I can keep going and that's a locker key. Oh, you kicking one? Okay. Yes. Excellent. And again, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need that. Right. So. Well, no, no, no. It's like the the tablet and the locker key were good, but then it'll open up new areas. Is what is what I meant. Well, they eventually will. Well, yeah. Eventually, they'll have to. Right. Wait. This is the way I came, isn't it? Or is it? Uh. Got me. Huh. I want me to find out. Okay, no, it isn't. Yeah. <laughs> all those guns, you can't. Yeah, all those assault rifles, I think. Oh, okay. Lame. Well, at least I explained it. Just give me the uh, handgun ammo. There we go. Ooh. Give me some of that. <laughs> Ah, I bet that would be the locker, in fact. Hmm. Ooh, 
an attaché case. An attaché case. Maybe we can get our uh, new inventory. <laughs> Duralumin. Huh. Okay. Aluminium. Okay, so that isn't actually a shiny. Hmm. Okay, so what is this? Ah, uh, there's a combination, looks like. Huh. I bet I don't have it. It was 815 that was the... 815, yeah. Nope. Okay. appears to be wrong. This well, case was self-destruct. Uh... Oh! Ah! <laughs> A dummy to know about this thing though to investigate uh, items. Hooray! Ooh. There is something inside. Huh. That's good to know. I guess we'll combine that with probably Becky's gun, right? Uh why hers? Because she's the one using the pistol more often. Mm. Stars. <laughs> I guess the two are probably similar. They're probably the same, yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh, I can't, uh... Oh, I guess I would have to leave it on the ground and then have her pick it up. Oh, because you can't hand it to her? Yeah, I can't exchange it. Which is really... Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> Custom to bust them. Modification should make it easier. To hit our target's weak points. And, and the plus that too, plus two, the AI might have a better chance of actually getting those... Uh, getting well, those I'm sure the AI points. doesn't need it. Mm. Well, what do we have here? Interesting. I How get... do I get down there is the thing? Leave somebody. Well, no, I mean, I don't know what that area is. Ah. So I'm not sure. Let's split up. Roger. One after lead, right? Those might have followed us different Oh, ways. true. Can I just go down here? Yeah, it's probably, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, they're both probably just blocked off beforehand. Interesting. So we're going to have to... Ooh, acid grenades. Maybe there will be lightning grenades in here, and I just wasn't ready for them. Ah, then, then I'll have to probably, have to probably have to press that button, too. Well, I'll go ahead and drop those at Billy's feet and then grab his shotgun. Because mm -hmm. if I'm going to be... Uh... Having her here all alone, she might need that. Well, no, she's got Molotov. She'll be fine. Yeah, she's got Molotovs, and she's got a new pistol with a scope. <laughs> she could definitely bullseye uh, Womp Rats with that. <laughs> I guess it makes sense, too, for her to use the combining thing. She is the master of mixing things. <laughs> okay. Now imagining uh, Rebecca doing a cameo in Residence of Fate. You know, just giving the game just some nuts about. <laughs> oh. Well, there's a way to erase that one. Maybe. Always be pro always be touching things. Uh oh. We switched the ability and unlock the uh Welp. Ow! Um. Well, that's Jeez, not good. I did a lot of damage, too. Huh. So, so if possible, you probably want to like, immediately switch back to Billy and lock that one of them out. Like the, uh, the maybe, that would have to be done with one of them. Zero. Well, the thing is that um, the thing was actually blocked, as far as I could tell. Um... Toad monkeys. <laughs> uh, yeah, they they, do, they kind of look like a you know, hybrid. Those are, of course, those are the not liquors, right? But they're uh, no, they're not liquors. Yeah, 
I don't remember what their names. Yeah. Are. You know, hunters maybe something like that. That sounds right. Let's see. Yeah, I'll go ahead and. Uh... I think she can't use that green juice on uh, the on the chemical thing from on herself. She can't, but it doesn't heal. Mm. Remember, it's just for poison. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a poison cure that you can, she can just bring along. Yeah. Yeah, hunters. Right, right. Yeah, I think they are there in uh, five, right? Knowing that there are acid grenades. Yeah, I have a feeling that's probably what you're supposed to use. You know. Somehow knowing that what to that there will be a prize of a uh, of grenades there. <laughs> Also, you could to finish uh, like setting up the area ahead of time to uh, to grab all the stuff before you press the button. Grab what stuff? I see that may have been it. You know, down there. Oh, liquors in five, hunters in one. Yeah, five had. Um... Well, I know there were liquors in. Uh... In some other Resident Evil game too, like yeah. maybe three. Mm. Yeah, I know that they were there before five. Right. Yeah, Liquor's War is kind of uh, kind of a problem. So I remember when we were playing, when we were playing five together on the 360, and I was playing Chris with uh, Liquor's War two and five. Gotcha. That was it. That's why I've been noticing since he's read uh, read up on two. With uh, Leon and Ada. And I'm uh, not going to bother with going to that other room because it just has the memo. So instead, continue on. Right. You were saying? Oh, and uh, yeah, we do, I was playing Chris with the uh, the grenade launcher and basically just you're know, constantly spamming uh, grenades on the. It's letting them all bunch up and just, yeah, just spamming grenades on them. Uh, if, you're, if you're not bringing along an infinite ammo magnum, then I, you know, I just don't know how you're really supposed to handle that. Well, the big thing is that um, since their head is their weak spot, if you can get a decent hit on them with something like a uh, sniper rifle or something, that generally takes them down mm. pretty quick. Alright, leave all of those there. Mm. And on we go. Yeah, makes sense to have that closer. So if I manage to make it through this area, I'm definitely going to want to uh, save. Yeah, Lorax I remember farming the liquors in five because they dropped gems that sold pretty well. And yeah, I wonder if we did too because I remember we fought a lot more than we needed to. Yeah, if, if five there, there's a room just uh, like you they're behind glass walls that the liquors eventually break down, and yeah, just rooms full of them. And that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. You kind of ran up ahead, letting them bunch up, and then just you know just fired a grenade after grenade on them. <laughs> yeah, I think I have to. Uh clear these guys out again. It was kind of funny, you know, watching the difference yep. be watching the difference uh, between the games because in uh Yeah, is it really Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the that, that you, every attack will only hit one enemy and the only difference is the games it does. No, because the shotgun cleared all of them. Oh wow, he died fast. He's pretty he's pretty much just the kind of them left. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so the shotgun was the shotgun worked okay. Right. I guess I could try again with the uh the third launcher. Mm -hmm. See if fire actually does anything to them and if I can hit all of them. Right, right. And if you can't, then bring the shotgun. <laughs> well, I can't bring the shotgun and the grenade launcher and everything else. And I only have so much inventory space. Are those faint sounds? Yeah, one of the, the, one of the things... We... Well, the question isn't, are those faint sounds? It's uh, what the <laughs> faint sounds are. Well, one of the, the, the problems that I, that... I don't know how Ben feels about this one, but I definitely do. is the fact that uh, because of the limited uh, save system and you have to get back to your progress and everything, I kind of feel like, feel like I'm running out of things to say. You know, between the uh, with all this stuff, it's like I kind of I've, I've been talking to 
sway about doing a uh, let's play of uh, Dragon Age, and she wants to do a live commentary. So okay, but if we're doing a nightmare run, there could be fights where I'd have to be trying the same fight for half an hour. It's like I think at some point we'd eventually run out of <laughs> run out of things to talk about it. Well, I'm not sure if Sway will run out of things to talk about for Dragon Age. Well, that's true. <laughs> I will say that um, running through the same locations over and over, especially when the camera angle kind of works against me there, right, right. Um, it does kind of strain things to do because the story hasn't actually advanced much. It's mostly get to next challenge, attempt next challenge, right? Um, which is problematic, obviously, because you know, you have a situation where you don't have anything new you can really talk about. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You explain it right now, all right? <laughs> Sorry, I need to go back and draw my uh, ink ribbons. Well, I can drop them off later. I mean, I'll be picking them up anyway, so. You might as well try to kill the, the bugs first, you know, if you die then. Yeah, yeah, Sway's a big fan of, uh, of Origins. We're, we're, both, we're both kind of old school uh, Bioware fans, so. Here we go. I think we both. Yeah, I think we, I think for both of us, our first uh, Bioware game was uh, Baldur's Gate Two. First, it might have Baldur's Gate One, but uh, Becky, go get it. Uh, okay, so it looks like that guy. Two grenades, even. Unfortunately, now she's in danger too. So. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those things just do absurd amounts of damage. No kidding. And I don't have any healing items anywhere in this entire game. And we know there so. we know there aren't you know uh, we know that we know there aren't very many we aren't, there aren't any anytime soon. Yeah, at least not until after the next challenge. Right, so. right. That's <laughs> why so he was bragging about it. She got the hero of Red Cliff achievement so on nightmare mode. Kept uh, Lloyd alive. <laughs> It's not so bad if you if you don't. It's not so bad if you don't do it first. Yeah, that's that's a big thing. Well, Ghost Dad was saying his first Bioware game was Kotor, and actually that that's still that's still on the early side of it. Basically, the 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 demarcation between old Bioware and new Bioware was uh, Mass Effect Two. That, that was the first one they did after the EA merger that had more of a focus on uh, on the action and less less so on story and the dialogue wheel and stuff like that. A wheel and deal. Okay, it should probably still be three eight five, I would imagine. Yep. Beeps. As I can't, and I like uh, Kotor as well. But it definitely, you know, that's another thing that there's, there's a lot of games that are like in the back of my mind about about playing again for the internet in some way, you know, let's playing or streaming, and it's like yeah, I mean, Kotor just has so many uh, segments where you just spend like a good, you spend an entire video worth just talking to people. It's like you know, much like you know, much like ended up being the problem with those games while they stopped doing it, it might be the same problem there. It's like would people really want you to just. Here. Okay. You know, watch of uh, just watch me talk to NPCs for you know, the entire time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, part of the fun of of of, uh, play, of the playing the games like that is if you want to go all exposition on them, you can, and if you don't, you don't have to. You can usually just click through and only only talk with the things that you're interested in, then immediately move on. Svensson. All the way from joining us from 1831. Uh, you must have been a fan of the what was it Order uh, 86? I think was I think that was the the game. <laughs> I should I should have meant 1886 because Ben was Ben was uh, 1986. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghost of Jade Empire is a bit more action. I was a big fan of Jade Empire. I, I would I would definitely like to play uh, play that one. As a matter of fact, I think we got it on either GOG or or Steam or something one. There's a sale on it to kind of have it ready whenever we didn't want to play it. Oh, branch of the military. Uh, what? Uh, 
Uh, well, thanks for thanks for your service. And uh, you know, what kind of uh, uh, you you're in the French Foreign Legion, and you're you're in that. Very cool. Well, thanks for uh, taking taking time out of your your busy uh, busy day to watch watch to watch the you know, US play games on the internet. <laughs> Think of yeah, this is this is a tricky one since you can't take a hit from the from the hunters. We can't hit on the right. Right. Yeah. yeah you know. Okay. So yeah, they, they all come down. So oh no, not all of them do. Okay. Actually, what I will try to do. Mm -hmm. This may or may not work. Yeah. But I'll try to get her right in the middle of those two. And then, and then, and then uh, close it. Battle sequence initiated. Locking door. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking you'd want to do to, to try to block off the, the hunters. How you could possibly know to do this before before dying at least once, you know. Oh, that was last year, though. Your contract, contract is over. All right. Arg. Did you, uh, yeah, yeah, that's one of those things where that, that's Oh, he can't hit the button. Oh, so once you, once you do it, you're done. Speaking, speaking of being done. Yeah. Okay, um, the usual rule applies here. Mm -hmm. Um, where I, I have the very sneaking suspicion this is going to be a nightmare. Mm -hmm. And trying it over and over again is not going to work. So I'm going to call the stream there. <laughs>